Could you please expand on climate change and the Revelation passage that refers to the warning of those who harm the earth? Let us read the text. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 18. The nations were enraged, but your wrath has come and the time for the dead to be judged, to reward your servants, the prophets, and Kedushim, or the holy ones, and those who fear your name, the small and the great, and to destroy the destroyers of the earth. Now let us see if this text can refer to the climate change process or not. We should learn how to answer this question using the correct methodology. It's very important. This will help us to understand, like I said, this and other biblical verses. Ancient people, and likewise contemporary people, often use a literary device called metonymy. Imagine you talk about the crown when you really mean the king or queen wearing it. That's metonymy. It's a fancy way of saying you use something closely related to represent something else, like using wheels to mean a car, or Wall Street for the financial world. The Pentagon is very often used as metonymy for the United States Army. Other examples. Lend me your ears. What does it mean? Do I really mean that you will lend me your ears? No, this means may I have your attention, please. Another example, Shakespeare's pen. Are we talking about real pen? No. This refers to writings of Shakespeare. So here is our text. And to destroy the destroyers of the earth. Now let us answer a question. Is the earth metonymy or not? If it is metonymy, then we will find identical use elsewhere in the Bible. And yes, we can find many occurrences when the earth is used as metonymy. For example, 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 46. Then all the earth will know that there is a God in Israel. I have a question. How can the earth know? It is not about the soil, friends. It is about people. People can know. The earth cannot. Here, the earth is metonymy. Let us check if we have more occurrences. We do have more. 2 Samuel 15.23 And the land, or the earth, was weeping loudly. This is NLT translation. As you can see, the land, or the earth, Eretz in Hebrew, cannot weep. We have people who were weeping. That is why HCSBS translation reads, Everyone in the countryside was weeping loudly. You see, the same text is translated in different ways. All the land was weeping, or everyone in the country or in the countryside was weeping. The land, Eretz in Hebrew, stands for people who were weeping. Uh, then we can open uh, other poetic or prophetic books and find interesting things. Psalm 33, verse 8. Let all the earth fear Adonai. The earth will not fear God, but people will. 
Psalm 66, verse 4. All the earth bows down to you. The earth will not bow down, but people will. Psalm 100, verse 1. Shout joyfully to Adonai all the earth. The earth will not shout, but people will. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 20. But Adonai is in his holy temple. Let all the land be silent before him. The earth or the land will not be silent, but people will. The earth is metonymy. And as you can see, it is used very, very often. You may find other words which are used this way. In the context of Revelation, it means humans who populate the planet. But maybe the earth refers both to people and to the environmental issues? No. If the Bible employs certain literary device, if the author communicates a thought, if there is certain meaning in the text, it will be extremely dangerous and wrong to add to that meaning, even if the idea seems to be good and attractive. This is one of the most dangerous theological traps to do that. So let's look at our text. God will destroy those who destroy the earth. Indeed, God will destroy the destroyers of the earth or those who seduce humans by the false teachings. The earth means humans. The earth equals humans. The earth stands for humans. Sometimes I say probably, maybe, or I don't know. But in this case, since we have a broad biblical context, we may say with assurance, the destroyers of the earth are destroyers of humans, friends. Who are those destroyers? The destroyers of the earth are the dragon, the beasts, and the harlot. And what is very important, the verdict is pronounced before they appear in the book of Revelation. They will be destroyed. These are not people who pollute the earth. These are satanic powers that rebel against God. Their time is limited and God's kingdom is coming.